YouTube, Dante Lewis here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get that record speed up and that record slow down effect that's very popular. It's the same way in Logic 9, so if you knew how to do it in Logic 9, it's the same way in Logic X, but for those who don't know or just got introduced to Logic X, I'm going to show you guys how to get it done. Now, a quick disclaimer, this only works for audio, so if you're trying to do this with a MIDI track, make sure you convert your MIDI into audio so you can take advantage of uh, this method right here. So the first thing you want to do is select the fade tool. Now here in your fade options, as you know, you have the left and the right, well the command click tool. Now for the left click tool, you just simply select it and it'll be available to you. But if you put it in the command click tool, and we'll switch this one back to pointer. You have to hold command to be able to have the fade tool or whatever tool enabled when you have it on the command side. So just make sure you keep that in mind. So back to the defaults here. So I'm just going to go to my left side and hit fade tool. Now the next thing you want to do is have the info tab open here. Open up regions, hit more actually have the track selected then you'll have the option to fade in and fade out at first now under fade in you get speed up which is the record startup effect and under fade out you get slow down which is the record stop effect so i'm going to show you what fade in and fade out does just for shits that way you know what you're dealing with so fading in first it's going to control how fast or slow the volume comes up if you were to scale it back some alrighty now fade out is how slow or fast the volume goes out All right, now, since we got that down, now we'll get to what you came out here for. The first one we'll do is speed up, which is the record start effect, and it's gonna turn orange this time. When you pull it out. Again, you can adjust how fast or slow you wanna do this. You can also adjust the taste to get the exact effect you're looking for. Now that's speeding up as far as slowing it down. You want to go to fade out, hit slow down. And again, it's going to turn orange. You want to stop it quickly, you can. Again, you can also adjust it to taste by pulling it in and out. And that's pretty much it. As I said, fairly simple. Um, now, if you have any questions, as you know, make sure you leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, peace.